Okay, this is one on a common problem with circuit breakers. Uh, circuit breakers actuate by heat. That means they will kick off if there's too much heat going through the circuit. All it does is bend a little bimetal inside the breaker and it kicks it off. Uh, the power passing through the bimetal warms the bimetal and it kicks it off. Well, uh, if you happen to have a breaker that goes off every few hours usually, uh, generally it's going to be once a day or something, it might be two or three times a week, or it might just run for a half hour and then kick off. And you come down and you find it in the uh, kick position, you reset it, everything starts and runs, and you're wondering why it's kicking off. Okay, there's a couple of reasons that are the most common. Certainly if you get the wrong size breaker and that sort of thing, yeah. Uh, if you have, if it's like an air conditioner and the compressor won't start, that'll kick them off. But there's one really common problem that hasn't been, I haven't seen too many people addressing this well. The wires in the breaker sometimes get loose. Okay, certainly if you got aluminum wires, you're, uh, there's a glop you can put on them uh, to keep the corrosion down. Aluminum has been kind of a problem in some of these uh, systems, however it's still commonly used, so it does work okay uh, if the terminals are designed for aluminum. But what oftentimes happens to these breakers, and I'm going to get a little closer on one of these breakers, there's a little double there, and you see those terminals right here. There's one there, one down here. Now I'm going to kick this thing off so there's no power going through it. And then I'm going to use a happy insulated screwdriver so I don't make sparks or electrocute myself or some silly thing like that. Now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to tighten these things and do not be afraid of the terminals. Those didn't take much. Get them tightened down good. Uh, and then you can kick your power back on and off you go again. There's very possibly what has happened is those loose wires are causing a temperature buildup in the terminal which is transferring to the bimetal inside there and kicking it off. Well, if that's what's happening, then tightening those terminals may solve your problem. Now if it's gone too far, it's gotten hot enough, it will have damaged the breaker inside. And if that's the case, there's nothing to do but replace the breaker. I would recommend that uh, if you have a breaker that is kicking off, that's one of the first things I would do. Now this is not a not kicking off immediately. If this thing kicks off as soon as you turn it on, this is not the problem. This It's got to be on a minimum of probably 15 minutes before it will kick off. Uh, and, uh, and so direct kick off, this is not it. If it's a long term thing and it kicks off now and then, that's very possibly the problem. And I'm going to show you some close-ups on a breaker and where things can go wrong. Okay, here we have the breaker out. And you can see those terminals that I was tightening up uh, right there. And uh, this is the wires that are coming out of the breaker. They're coming right in, uh, hooking right in here. By the way, every once in a while, somebody sticks one of these things in and puts it down here. And so it just kind of rests there. You might want to look for that too. That's one of the little odd things that every once in a while happens. People are supposed to put the wire in here. It's supposed to be inside that uh, hole. But sometimes they'll put it below it and they'll tighten it up and it seems like it tightens up okay. But it doesn't work and you know it burns up the breaker or it kicks the breaker off or something like that so you might want to watch for that too if you still have trouble 
Okay, this is the other side of the breaker, and this is where the bus bar goes right in here. There's two bus bars going there. And when you push the breaker down, it spreads out those two clamps. And if those clamps get burned, uh, they'll damage the uh, bus bar, and the bus bar will probably have to be replaced. Uh, that may that may be a toughie. Uh, you end up sometimes just replacing a whole panel. Uh, sometimes the parts aren't available for them. You can put new bus bars in them if you can get them, but it's uh, it's a pretty big job and uh, not one you want to uh, leap into lightly. Anyway, uh, any burn spots here, if these are massively discolored, won't screw down tight, something like that, won't do anything, as soon as you go to tighten them, the whole breaker just breaks up, then uh, the breaker's toast. Okay, let's take a look at the bus bars. Okay, what we're looking at here, we're back in the panel, and these bus bars are hot all the time. The only time they're kicked off is when you kick your main breaker off. You can see these two bus bars. There's one there, and then there's one down there. Let me get a little closer on those things. Okay. Right there and there are where those clamps are on the breaker fit. This should not be all burned up. If it is all burned up, you got real problems and you're not going to get away with anything simple on that. But tighten the wires on the breakers. If you're having a, a problem with uh, a breaker kicking off, the amp draw is normal, then tighten the wires on the breaker. Uh, if the terminals break off when you tighten the wires, it doesn't mean you're being probably too muscly. It simply means that it had already burned up. And if these things have overheated pretty massively, you won't be able to tighten them. They'll just fall apart. And they're jammed. If they're aluminum, they tend to jam really bad. So, uh, so definitely tighten up the breaker. Pop the breaker out if you uh, are if you can't find any problem uh, on the wires pop the breaker out take a look at the bus bars and uh, go from there remember everything in this panel is hot so careful if you uh, need to do anything in this thing that uh, is extensive at all with the bus bar you're gonna to have to kick off the main breaker and that is right there uh, and of course use your meter to make sure everything kicked off or everything is off before you start uh, digging these things out by the way you turn off that 200 amp uh, fuse and that shuts down all power to the structure so tighten wires and breaker